Yeah, season 2.0. Jay Kareem, Drew Breezy, I got ya. We back. Back for a second season. Time to give you motive to connect to the internet and our social. Them. Who the coolest on the scene is? Who we rock the screen with? While others are scared to compete with. DM2 cool for you. Jay will make a fool of you. Here's this miss quick. Consider that a rule for you. They want to report and flag us all up on the YouTube. Since you're getting more subscriptions than you do. Weekly discussions you can expect no better. Since we keep it on the real like a movie projector. MTV want to sign. Us. Much wanna hire us We can say F Fox News They wanna fire us Cable has a pulse to list We give it 24 hours If they wanna devour Possibly many more To every viewer I consider you to be a friend of mine Because of y'all We're an Emmy and a Gemini Your watch is on the daily Even the ones that's hitting Keep us screw facing Look at all the fans are making DJ TV Uh, we kinda like a bitch DJ TV, we back, man. Another episode hitting you up every week, man. 2.0. It's your boy, DM. Cool! Man, it's your boy, JP Reed. No production, you know what it is, man. We about to get at the friend zone. The friend zone. The, the friend, friend zone. zone. And, and access denied. Man. Better get the, the fuck zone. out of here, man. Too yeah. easy, man. Anything to say about the friend zone, man? Never happens to me, man. Never, never happens to me. Never happens. You know what? <laughs> I've never actually been in the friend zone. Okay, there was one time in high school, but I was young. Yeah. I've never actually been in the friend zone, man, but... You ever been in the friend zone, man? One time, but you know, it was back when younger days. My people were best in days, you know what I mean? It happens, man. It happens, yeah. We're gonna talk about the friend zone when it comes to God. Is there anything to say about that, man? Alright, so, you know, you know, if I want to say that the guys get trapped in the friend zone, alright? Now, dudes... You know, you see a girl, a chop girl, or whatnot, get to talk to the girl and everything. But the problem is, you know, they keep everything on friendship level. You know, they're kind of afraid to dive into the sexual territory. And when that happens for too long, that's when the girl starts getting comfortable with you being as being your friend, being that one guy that they can depend on. Yada yada yada. You already know the deal is. And then by the time they realize that, there's gonna be one day where the girl's gonna be like. Aw, you're like my best friend. Or, aw, uh, you can't remind me of like my big brother or something. Big, just get that's, that's, when it, that's when it stops. It's a when you hear those two things, or things that, that sound similar to that, that's when it's a wrap. Like, there's no sexual attraction. Like, it's probably there, maybe like 2% of it, but it's tucked, tucked away. You gotta, like, reach in deep to get that. Man, the, th the thing about getting, the thing about the friend zone thing is that like, if you push too much, you become over obsessive. Yeah. But if you don't push enough, then she needs you as a friend, you know, a buddy, you know, and someone I can talk to, you know, someone I can lay in the bed the whole night with, have a conversation with, and I'm not gonna touch him, you know, someone I'm just not attracted to. Now, you know, and that is what you want, you know, there's some guys that just wanna get out of friends, want to hit it. Yeah, that's what we'll see. <laughs> and, then, and then there's some guys that actually wanna, they actually wanna be with the girl, you know, like, like they've known her for so long, and like, you know, it's like the whole high school, you know, movies thing. You know, they've known her for so long, you know, they love her, or, or, you know, they're factored by the girl. And, you know, they've seen the girl deal with a bunch of other guys, and they wanna be that next man, man. You yeah. gotta let her know, man. You gotta, you gotta grab your balls, you know, and say, you know what, we're talking today, right? <laughs> yeah. we're talk to the ball. Yeah, you know, grab your cojones and man up, yeah. You, just, you know what, you gotta, all jokes aside, man, you just gotta come out of the friend zone, man. You gotta go to the girl and just tell her, you know what? They say it in all the movies, but it's true, man. You gotta be honest, man. We don't got no games, no gimmicks, we don't have no tips for you. Just don't be cliche about it, man. Just come out, like, man, real genuine about it. It's it's, there's only one way to do it, man. There's no tricks to this. Just come out and be like, you know, Ashley or Becky or, you know, Latoya or Shana, you know, just come out and grab a girl, you know, face a man for women and be like, you know what, I like you. Talk to them, be like, I like it. I like it. <laughs> just tell her, man. Be like, you know what? I want to be with you. Man. And yo, some like some girls feel like some girls find that as admirable or courageous of the guy to even have the balls to actually do that and go up to him and say that, you know, I like you, want to be with you, yada yada yada. Like some girls, you know, they're like, oh, that's sweet, but you know, like. I, I kind of see this that way, but like I appreciate the fact that you're honest with me. Like that's good enough because like at least you try. Yeah, at you least you're honest, man. It's good to be honest. Man. Yeah, and then sometimes you're like, oh really? Well, I feel the same way about you. Like you never know. That girl may feel the same way about you. So and, you never know. You know what? It's like if you if you happen to get dumped, man, it happens. 
it happens. You know what, man? Rejection is a part of life, man. Yeah. You're going to be rejected all life. Case, you're going to be rejected from strong. jobs. You're going to be rejected from everything in life, man. If you don't, if you don't get rejection, you never grow, man. So yeah. You know what, man? It may hurt for a while. It may hurt your heart. You may be able to talk to that girl, but you know what, man? On to the next one. You just on gotta, to the next. You gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta do it, man. You, you get rejected, you gotta move on, man. But and at least you know the answer. Yeah. If you never ask, you will never know. You're always gonna sit there and wonder what, what it, is. You know, dealing with this asshole, that asshole, that guy just wants some pussy, dick, you know, whatever, man. You gotta, you gotta man up. That's true, man. Couldn't agree more. But you know, the, the friends <coughs> does suck, man. Let's talk about how. Let's talk about how you get in the friends. How do you get in the friends? Well, you know, like I said earlier. Got to talk to a girl, gets to know her and all that. But then, like, as you're talking to the girl, you dive into her personal stuff, like family, friends, and all that. <coughs> yeah, that's good, that's good. Of course, you need, you need a solid background. But then, when it comes to the talks of sex, sexual nature, you back away. You back away because you're too shy to figure out what the girl's gonna say. She, like, you may think, you may ask her about, oh, have you had sex before, or one person did it? And you may think she got caught as like, yo, that's nasty, or, or why are you asking me that? Like, I mean, you don't know me like that. Like, I don't know how old you are, man, but I don't know what our fan base is like right now, but we 20, man. So yeah, we are 20. You, you gotta just, you know, you gotta come out and you gotta, you gotta explore that sexual nature. Yeah, because you're like, like, now. Like, yeah, it's good talking about the girl's family, you know, get on that basis with us. But you gotta explore, like, the sexual nature. You gotta ask her about sexual talks, you know. Let her know that you are sexually, physically interested in her, and not just emotionally. Exactly. And with that said, we're gonna cut on this part. Part two coming next. We're gonna talk about the friend zone from the female perspective. So you know your boy Dio Cool, boy J Kawi, Drew Weezy behind the camera. We'll be back after this. I stay tuned.